or hot or cold with Kalos. I'm very interested to see why Kalos was the default pick here, how the pick bans worked out for this, because I feel like a lot of Joker's edge guarding opportunities are diminished by the platforms that hang over the ledge. Nonetheless, let's see how things peel out as Kalos is in setting for game one of Roxas versus Daybreak. And right out the gate, Daybreak putting on that damage, getting us right over to the ledge. And I mean, you know, you got to watch out. Arsene, big brother, is always watching. And I mean, he's here already. And that Spooky was ghost. 15 seconds into the match. So we'll see what type of damage that Roxas can get now. As far as early percentage combos are concerned, Arson doesn't actually like interrupt a lot of the chains that Joker can get. Yes, he loses out on grappling hook extensions, but you're still getting a ton of damage, especially if we chill here by the ledge and not putting himself in proper positioning for the Tetrakarn. Ooh, it's that almost kill, a disaster. Almost <laughs> oh my god. It's Roxy. a good thing the stage is a big boy, but that was a fantastic down air, catching out the jump from Daybreak too and completely snatching away first blood. New Jersey on the side of its Joker. I see Sinatra, Alfie, and crew over there cheering. We're gonna get the A-Hob. Oh, with the drag down. Here we go. Let's see how it happens. What did you say about Tri-State Joker? Something good? He just got blown up because right, he grabbed one. <laughs> I'm gonna be critical even if I'm hyped. Either way, chilling here, trying to camp with uh, a... Uh, I don't think it's the best of options. The down gun is especially a habit that Roxas has to keep himself ahead of because Wolf can explode if he manages to just drift a little bit outside of the range that down guns covers. Right. It's an all right landing option, but for characters Ooh, that can punish it. just misses on Roxas's part, but gets the second one into the up air. Roxas almost has Joker out. You know what I'm surprised? He hasn't fished too much with the Rebel's guard. Uh, that a lot of Jokers are just like, you know what, I know that you give out a lot of damage, so I'm just gonna, you know, throw my throw my little down B and get all my, get our send out, but. See, this is the kind of matchup where you don't really wanna go for a Rebel's Guard. definitely gonna kill that. That's gonna completely sweep Oh yeah. Oh, damn. But like, you don't wanna go for Rebel's Guard too much in this matchup because Wolf gets a lot off of grab, Ooh, and Daybreak nice knows how to make his grab extensions work wonders for I him. mean, as you can tell, he got a grab into a grab, and Arsene is almost gone, and we almost have a clean first stop, or a clean final stop for both these players. Oh. Ooh, I love the air dodge back by Roxas. Super smart. And here's the thing. A lot of the times, uh, especially, like, I know personally, like, Jokers need to be a lot more smarter of where they throw Aha, especially with, the, like, a character that can punish super well, like Wolf. You want to make sure that you're not just, like, throwing it out and leaving yourself open. Ooh. Yeah, it's a super punishable projectile. It's not something that you want to use. And in fact, this is the kind of matchup where you'll see that Joker's normals Ooh. benefit him really well. And that's where we're seeing Roxas win out a lot of these trades. It's just with punishing with his aerials or going for grabs a lot. Things are working really well for him. As soon as the specials come out, though, Daybreak is back on the Ooh, hunt. Nice. There we go. At 100% deficit and counting, thanks to the DOT you get from AI. Uh, things aren't looking too hot for Daybreak. Oh, my God. If that had hit. Oh, my God. That was close. I really, oh my god, that up smash is gonna kill without Arsene! Ooh. <laughs> Who needs Arsene, whose other persona is bad DI? Yikes. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna keep it real, my man. Go and go. Wait, let's, let's watch the replay on this. Use the house tech to see the blue arrow. And what's the scoop? Kevin, you almost had it! Alright, let's do it again. And boop! I can't see because it's He's got other particles. So apparently effects. there's some technology where we can see yeah. the GI. That's straight up, dog. Was it straight up? That's going to the next floor. My man trying to see the skyline from the I top mean, of the New like Yorker. I mean, there's like 40 floors in this New Yorker, so we're heading up to at least the 33rd. <laughs> but we are going next to... Oh, he didn't pick it. We oh, have it's this a special cool technology, surprise but the bands were FD and Yoshi's, so we're heading to Town and City, which I agree with. I like this. I think this is a good stage for, for Roxas specifically, more so than just in this particular matchup. Right. Because it's going to give him a lot of time to like figure out how Daybreak's going to try to pressure him. Mm -hmm. And he could either come down with guns, or we've seen a lot of the falling up air, which I think is a criminally underutilized tool in the combo Ooh. kit of Joker. My god, Daybreak just fired out with 50%. But Roxas, changing over to the, was he always the Shujin Joker? He wasn't always the Shujin nah, Joker. Nah, he just went from the red coat to the uh, Shujin white yeah, uniform. Yeah, but that coat's looking mighty red by the minute at this rate. Fantastic forward smash read from Daybreak. Puts him in the lead really quickly. Right, and I kind of like, like how Daybreak 
He's getting his conversions. It's not like he wasn't doing it before, but they're just much more explosive now. Roxas needs to slow down the match again. Daybreak has momentum. He's one of those players just from, you know, the first time that I'm watching it, that when he has momentum, he's off with it running. Yeah, he's been doing a great job of making sure that his extensions are clean on his opponents and that when he does end his string, he has a safe place to land. He's not putting himself in harm's way, which is especially important against Joker, especially when Arsene's on the loose. Ooh, I like, goes, goes for the ledge from back air. I appreciate it. But Daybreak being like, nah, <laughs> nah, laser. An attempt was made. An attempt was made. But that up smash, not going to take it quite yet. But Daybreak... That's that good stuff. It's not dead yet unless the guns have something to say about it. Foot. That was a great or string. The foot. You're Roxas. forgetting about the foot. But that was a really nice edge guard from, from Roxas. Ooh. All right, now you just die for being tricky. Yeah. I, listen, I love I love the movement as much as the next person, but you can't move into wolf hitboxes. Right. Down throw into the dash. I like it. Oh, but we have Big Brother Arsene out. But that doesn't seem to bother Daybreak at all. Not a and bit. that's gonna be it. A clean JV3 for Daybreak. I almost said Roxy's. I'm not gonna lie. I, I definitely stuttered. I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Let's just watch this replay. This was Nair into the forward smash. And then things didn't get much better from there. This is a whole, I think, 80% string in total right. from this. The Nair into the up air into the up and air. And let's get a quick read. Boom. Into the back air, yeah. Knees eradicated, ankles destroyed. Wow. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. This is actually a good set. And no We've DSL. We've had a lot of good sets in our block. We have. It's been a fun time. We've been blessed. Where are we going? We're going back to Kalos. No DSR voice coming in clutch. Wait, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I should have went back to PS2. Welcome to the city. That's the mix. All right. Back to Kalos. Back to the red coat. You know, it was definitely the outfit change. That, <laughs> that was it. That's why he lost. No, this this is Daybreak's palace. That's <laughs> the lore <laughs> now. <laughs> Either way, we'll see if things work out for Roxas, because at the very least, damage is on both players very quickly. Bit of a change from what we saw in game two, where Daybreak just took the game right from the game. I really love the spot dodge grab from Roxas. Very, very creative. Oh, we got Big Brother Arsene out, though. You see, while Arsene gives Roxas a lot more aggressive options, Ooh. that's why I love the drag down fair. It, he has more accomplishments. He has more reliable killing tools, but he just hasn't been able to secure the kill. Oh that's what I'm God, liking to see. Oh, my God, the Tetracarn. My God. That thing has to hit the detective boxes hurts. of like a city block. That hurts. And you know what also massive. hurts? Eating two Arsene back airs. Roxas has almost successfully lapped his percent on his second stock, but Daybreak not faced by it at all. He's out not there with two hit. back airs. Like, it's just looking so good for both of these players whenever they're like really feeling their strings. But Daybreak, I feel, has been finding better like returns to neutral, whereas Roxas has been either put like right towards the edge or he's in harm's way, or he's not making good use of Arsene. Like, so one thing or the other is just putting him in a bad position, and Daybreak keeps on taking advantage Ooh, that's of that. Tetracarn. You know, we didn't really see Tetracarn come out of stocks in games like one and two, so I'm glad that we're kind of seeing it now. Yeah, Rox has remembered that, like, he can't get grabbed out of it if they're both in the air. Right. And then also Ooh. the fact that it has one of the best, like, damage multipliers of a, a counter in Smash Ultimate. It's something that you have to watch out for because Wolf is dealing plenty of damage and knockback on each of his hits. Oh my god, Joker just... Oh, I thought he died, he didn't die. No, really, really good DI from Daybreak, kept him alive. Although, he is not looking pretty at nearly 170. I mean, we don't have our send, so this is the time now. Ooh. See, at this high of percentage though, Joker is not struggling Back to get throw, not kill. gonna kill quite yet. Like, forward air would get it done, back air Ooh, but from the ledge would get it done. Air. I love ledge trump. Ledge jumping is such an important part of, I think, being a good player, knowing to push and not push your advantage, but you know what? How about pushing buttons? Yeah, right. Let's can't be go. doing that all Let's the time. Let's go pushing buttons. You can't beat the mashers. But this this game went from like, wow, Roxas to, this is really close. Like, this is a bit of a nail biter. Now that Roxas has himself in a nice groove, he's getting the damage up. Ooh, I like the weight on that by Roxas. Daybreak, not face at all. 
I see that Roxas has gone up to that platform a couple times and just a hot. I think that's more of a like, all right, you know what? Like, let's take a second and breathe. But Daybreak gonna get the grab, goes for the F smash, doesn't quite get it. It's the poor man's spacey projectile <laughs> where like you're you want to force an interaction. Arsene out though. This is not good on your last stock at 71. You know how much damage you can eat by our set. Up throw. Oh, it's an up smash up read. Smash. I like it, but it's not going to be it just yet. Especially not catching the way we're landing from that Nair. I'm very surprised with Roxas. I love Why would you neutral get up? And he takes the game off of that. You know, usually when people see Arsene coming out on a last stock where the other person's at high percent, they're like, all right, this stock is cooked. But my god, that was just pure outplaying. Boy, Ew. what are you doing? That was charged for the longest time. I love how Arsene stands there because he doesn't have a hit animation. He's, He's like, really like, that sucks. like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic read from like, Damn, that sucks, bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> chilling there like, this is going to hurt. You're going to losers, dude. <laughs> really good set, though. That was yes. an awesome set. And we and